You can now use the Bend tool to bend multiple coplanar surfaces in a single feature. I've sketched a line on these coplanar but discontinuous surfaces, and Creo 3 allows me to create a bend on these surfaces. I'll create a similar bend on the surfaces on the bottom of the troughs here. In this case, I'll use this straight edge as a bend reference and offset it from the part edge. I can then specify the length of the bend line by dragging it out so that Creo knows which geometry I want bent. You can see the geometry to be bent will be previewed once the line is appropriate. I'll flip the bend in the other direction to give me the bend that I'm looking for. To flatten geometry like this, I'll actually unbend it in two stages. First, I'll unbend the bends on the coplanar surfaces. Then I'll unbend the trough geometry.